and then Bolden's back to receive. Can Jones get them into field goal range is the question. Well, the King got it done his direction. Can the young buck bring it back? From the 25-yard line. In the pocket. Fires. Incomplete. And you got a flag down because over the middle, you had Whitehead covering on the play. He's saying, can't be me. Pass interference. Defense number 33. Spot foul. Automatic first down. I don't know about this because you're going to see Hunter Henry's not even going to really be looking for the ball. And here comes Whitehead. He's going to break for the football and try and make the interception. And really, Henry broke Ooh. across his face without ever looking back. I don't know. Oh, you do know. We, we do know. <laughs> it's a bad call. 45-yard line. Jones throws, caught into Bucks territory. This time Henry was looking for the ball. Come up, conserve that timeout. Clock down to 140. Plenty of time to set up for that field goal to get in range. Time is not a factor for New England. And Alyssa before the snap here, and a false start. So that turns a second and one into a second down and six. The snap was late. That was so weird, Al. It wasn't the players jumped off sides. It was the snap was late. Well, here's Vinovich. We'll start. Offense number 85. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. Please reset the game clock to 134. Yep, yeah, he's number 32. So second down and six now. Back at their 49-yard line. They want another full start. They don't get it. To the outside, Bolden, and Bolden will pick up the first down and get out of bounds with 71 seconds. I don't think there's much doubt about it. That was a flinch. That's a false start. That should have been another five yards. Instead, it's first down Patriots. And again, they want to run this clock out. You have to assume you're going to get the field goal kick. You cannot give it back. To Brady going the other way. We saw that last week. He gave it back to Aaron Rodgers. All he needed was 37 seconds. Pressure coming. Pass to the outside is incomplete. Cockrell covering on the play intended for Jacoby Myers. Second down to 10 and training about as hard as it has all night right now. I'll tell you that Ross Cockrell has done a pretty nice job on the outside. He did last week. I was impressed. He's not an overly athletic guy, but he is just so smart on the football field. He anticipates where the ball is going to be, and he just beats it there. That was a nice play. Pick it up. Pass to the outside. Is it caught in bounds? Yes, it is. Myers is there. The bench going over to say he was out of bounds. No, sir. Sherman covering on the play. Third down and three. Hey, Burleson appreciate a little toe drag swag on that one. In all likelihood, probably going for it here on fourth down, right? Would you try right. this kind of a long field goal? Nah, with 50, the rain. 56 yards in the rain. Yeah. I think they go for it. For the fourth down if they have to. Meanwhile, oh, that's huge. tipped. And now you're going to have to make that decision. That's Levante yeah. David. So do you want to try to take the lead? And for the moment, they are going to send Folk in, who has that streak going. 36 straight. The line of scrimmage is the 37. Career long is 56. I remind you, though, he has had that issue on his plant leg. This would match his longest ever. And if he hits this one in the rain with a bad plant leg, it would be one amazing night. 
from 56. On its way, it is off the goalpost. No good, you can hear the doink. Oh man. Right down to the finish. And then the center. Some doinks are better than others. <laughs> Ask Justin Tucker. But not this one. Unbelievable. And the Tampa Bay Bucks. With Mr. Jones tonight. He impressed a lot of people around the National Football League. And of course, Belichick knew exactly what he was doing. Cam Newton was going to be the starter. Bill said that it was going to be the starter up until about June. And now it's this man. But what a night for him. 31 out of 40, 275, two touchdowns. And Tom Brady will come back. And so Tom Brady has now won more games in Foxborough this year than have the Patriots. And he's won in all against all every team now too, right? But I, I'll say this: Tom Brady's going to walk out of here with a victory. I am so impressed with what I saw out of the Patriots tonight, and in particular Mac Jones. I thought Mac Jones went toe to toe with one of the greatest players in the history of the game, and this fan base is going to embrace what he did this evening. And they are going to be okay after tonight with the fact that they have to turn the page. It was a great performance by Mac Jones. Had to turn the page at some point to go to Houston next week and come home to face Dallas and the Jets. A couple of kneel downs will end this one. And a happy plane ride home for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As it ends, put in the up there. We are the kings of the doinks, the double doinks, the kiboshes, the whole thing. Wow. Hard fought, man. You knew it was going to be. You knew this Patriots team was going to be ready. They were emotional. They were excited. And they played a great game tonight. All right, so Belichick comes out to the middle of the field. Everyone waiting to see if he says anything congratulates Brady normally it's coach to coach well well there it is okay and McDaniels Josh McDaniels told me this week he said I've been around a lot of great football players. I don't know if I'll ever meet a better guy than that guy right there in Tom Brady. He said, you send him a text, he's back within 10 seconds. If he has something that he knows going on in your life, a birthday, anything, he's calling, he's texting. He is a personable guy, and you can see the ultimate respect every single one of those players who played with him have for him. And I think they're all happy they don't have to play each other Maybe ever. This might be yeah, it. This could be. That was fun. That was really oh, fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fascinating game. Great strategy.